Hey everybody, I wanted to do a craft update. Um, I've moved everything around in my room and um, I think I like this setup a lot better than what I have been doing. Uh, so let me just show you around. Um, this whole corner of my room is dedicated for crafts. Um, I got my fish tank over there just to kind of provide some relaxation. Um, I got some goldfish in there. Pretty much it's just basic um, fish tank. I got a quarry catfish right there. Where'd he go? Oh, there he goes. Down there in the bottom. Um, but I used a desk uh, for my craft station. And I use a placemat to try and keep the paint from getting tore up, which is not working. <laughs> um, I got this from my local smoke shop. It's a top of matic uh, piece. And I cut the top section off so it would fit in my drawer, but I ended up moving it over here. Um, and I also got the fish bowls from my local smoke shop. He gets rolling papers in these and then gives them to me when the rolling papers sell. Uh, but this I have miscellaneous stuff in, stickers, uh, decals, baby wipes, a miniature uh, baby shoe box that I use for all of my paint brushes. Uh, and this one I have ribbons, yarn, thread, string. This one is all glitters and stickers as in like decals for nails. This has all my whites, tans, browns and neutral colors of polymer clay and this is all of my bright colors and I have quite a bit which I love all them colors and yes I do have a piece that goes over the front to keep it airtight I just didn't put it on there up here in my basket is all my paints um, these types of paints that I got from Walmart and this was uh, used for uh, green peppers. I just kept the tray and I can use that as um, painting stuff. <laughs> Here's my baking tray. This is what I bake all of my pieces in. Um, anytime you bake your pieces in an oven on um, any type of cookware, make sure that you do not put food on this and then cook food. Um, once you use this for arts and crafts, it should only be for arts and crafts uh, because like right here, there's pieces of polymer clay that have been scorched or uh, TSL that has dripped off and scorched and it's been baked so many times that it's not going to come off. <laughs> so you don't want to use this for food once you've used it for clay. Um, here's one container I have of charms. I got that up there. Um, beadwork books from the library. I'm trying to learn how to work with uh, seed beads. Let's see what all kind of different projects that you can do. Um, here's my caddy. It's got seven drawers. The top one is for stencils and molds. This one's for extra stuff, um, paper towels, wax resistant sticks, um, oil pastels, chalk pastels. This one here is just for my hot glue gun and my hot glue sticks and my measuring tape and some lotion. This one had all my tools in it but I just recently moved all my tools and I'll show you where I put them. This is my extra stuff, um, thick flowers and hair brush, just random things. This is all the stuff that I'm hoarding for my miniature house, um, my shoebox house or dollhouse, whatever I'm going to create, um, but I'm just kind of hoarding stuff now, garden tools, a little piece of wicked fence, a little curio cabinet, this was out of a Barbie set my sister gave me, actually it used to be mine forever ago when I got the veterinary Barbie set, a Barbie carriage different random things in it. And then the bottom is miscellaneous crap. Um, I got all-purpose caulk down here, extra spray bottles, extra crowns, my three-ring hole punch. That's pretty much it. Um, here's where I keep uh, 
all of the charms that need glazed or put together, I'm putting up here in my white box. I took the hardware off because I painted it white and I was going to put decals on it, but I haven't got that far yet. Um, here's my charm bracelet I made. Um, I did play guitar with these picks, and then I put, um, uh, what is that? Oh, crap. Dimensional Magic on it, and put the stickers on it to create that hard top finish. Turned out pretty well. Um, here's where I keep my pens and pencils, uh, random crap, <laughs> suckers, batteries, uh, liquid for my e-cigarette. <laughs> And these are all my Sharpies, my Sharpie, or pencil sharpener, but these are all my Sharpies and permanent markers. Alright, and what's awesome is, I got this from the thrift store. Oh, and I also put a reptile light up there, um, that I extra want to have. So it gives me plenty of light down here, um, to see what I'm doing. But I found this at the Goodwill. Which is freaking awesome! It's $3.99, and it has a lot of compartments. Um, and as you see, my OCD kicked in, and I labeled all of them. Um, so these here are embellishments. Um, I got these from the Dollar Tree. There are a whole bunch of different layers. Pretty much nail art, but I use it for comics. Plus, you can keep the little bottles, because they are glass. More embellishments. Just random different things. An owl. All kinds of different stuff. Buttons and findings. Head pens, and yes, I use my Altoid cans. The small ones, they are perfect for head pens and eye pens. Perfect. They fit just right. Keeps them all together, keeps it locked. Um, this one doesn't have anything in it yet. Uh, rubber bands, a lot of them. <laughs> uh, trinkets, these are all things that I have collected off the mail that like advertisements that come to my house. Um, this is for the new casino that opened up. Um, this is for like win a car, da 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 da, whatever. If your number matches, you win. Um, keys that came on things. If your key fits a car, you win a car, yada yada, whatever. They don't say you gotta pay all the taxes on it. You might win the car, but you don't win the taxes. <laughs> um, this is fake blood that I used for Halloween. But I never know when I might use it, so. Uh, rubber molds that I've made. Uh, decorations that I have made. Um, kiwi slices, lemon slices, sprinkles, tomatoes, uh, small mini buttons, and googly eyes. And here is um, some fake jewels back there. These are pieces of baked polymer clay that I use to scrape to get my chocolate shavings for my desserts. Uh, this is miscellaneous stuff, just a whole bunch of random crap. My DNA earrings that didn't turn out quite right. <laughs> uh, scrap clay I have in this airtight container. I made a hard clay mold of an owl. And this is just some white TSL inside of a airtight container. Natural rocks, keychains, magnets, hooks, all of my cookie cutters, the uh, miscellaneous crap. <laughs> I don't even know what I put in it. Uh, I think I was using this to cut out a circle or something. Um, all my texture tools. Um, pieces of old um, wire dish scrubbing stuff, uh, an undernail cleaner, a toothbrush, foil, um, nail file, different things to put texture on my pieces, tools and etc. Um, these are all of my precision tools is what I call them. Um, I've got a solid point. A sewing tool, which I haven't used for anything yet. Um, this is a cuticle remover, but I use it to um, work on clay. I've got two pairs of tweezers, one pointed, one blunt tip. Um, 
I believe, oh, this is a uh, stitch remover, and I believe these were part of a, if I can get them, walnut cracking set, like a nutcracker, but I don't ever use nutcrackers or eat walnuts or anything like that, so I'm just going to use this for, okay. all my blades and my X-Acto and my other blades. Um, this has just got paper scraps in it. Um, this is where I keep all of my wire gauges, gauging, whatever, wire. <laughs> I did make this as well, out of glass rocks and um, a solid glass thing I got from the Dollar Tree. Here's my two compartments for my pieces. Um, jump rings, um, hooks, ball chains, clasps, um, brooches, uh, earrings. These are all glass beads, and I got this container from the Dollar Tree, and all of these little containers from the Dollar Tree. But I have, um, all of these are full of different kinds of beads. And then I got the, um, packs that I've gotten from Walmart over here on the side. So this is full of all beads. I love it. And here's where I moved all of my tools to. Over here. I got, um, I just bought this. It's a paint pen. Works fantastic. I love it. It was, uh, two, $1.97 at Walmart. But these are all my cutting tools, ballpoint tools, paintbrush, um, and sponges that I never use. Scissors, ruler, wire cutters, um, needle nose pliers, a spray bottle of water, extra mechanical pencil, um, oil, uh, TSL, dimensional magic, glue sticks, glaze, cotton candy spray just for the hell of it, and baby oil. Um, I got paper clips, stapler, um, I made this out of polymer clay when I first started working. But it's my uh, mason jar with um, pencils and stuff in it. I use an empty uh, green bean can for my water for my paintbrushes. And I got my roller. So that's pretty much it on my craft station. I moved some stuff down here too. Extra crowns. Um, some craft books. Some construction paper, some old books that I've collected over the time, my fish food, uh, just oh, that's all animal fish stuff, and then I got all those crowns, markers, coloring books, all that. So this is my craft area. I love it. Oh, I got a trash can right there too for easy access, and it's also right next to my computer, which makes it easy to look something up. And um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So tell me what you think. Um, I also got a easel over there in a the corner. And if there's anything you have a question about and uh, a piece of uh, a tool or anything that you saw that you don't have that you're curious about what I use it for polymer clay, please leave a comment. Uh, sorry this video is almost 15 minutes long, but I wanted to do a full craft update on my craft station because I've done so much to it. Um, I am in love with this. That is my favorite part of this whole thing. It's just so organized. I love organization. Oh, one more thing. Uh, the library in my local town uh, has craft days twice a month, and this last time was for silk flower arranging. So this is the container they gave us, and this is all free through my local library. They provide all the materials. You pretty much just get there and they do the rest. Um, but I did this silk flower arrangement. Um, I really wanted to put some blue flowers in there to complement these here. But um, some lady, some old lady pretty much beat everybody up to get the only blue flowers they had. <laughs> so I went with pinks, purples, whites, and somewhat yellows. Um, which you'll see in these flowers, this foliage. Um, I put some fake grass in here. So pretty much this is what I did at the library. And um, you can see how the back has more foliage. 
And I think this was easy for me. Um, a lot of people in there were having trouble trying to figure out how to um, assemble it. To me, I thought it was pretty easy because I went to a career tech school for horticulture. And um, it's fairly easy for me to be able to put together something. This middle one was straight up and down, but it kind of got screwed up on the... I walked to the library because it's only a block away, so what's the point in driving when I live on a one-way and i got to drive all the way around the block just to get back in my driveway? So it's stupid. I just walk. So I got kind of messed up in the walk because I was halfway running home yesterday. It was about to... Heaven's Gates was about to pour down on us. So that's what I did, and I love it. And I posted a, vi a picture on Facebook, and a lot of people are liking it. So I think um, eventually, once I get the money to do this, because believe it or not, silk fly arranging can get very expensive. Um, all these pieces here were bought from our local Dollar Tree, um, which means they're only a dollar a piece, but still, that's pretty expensive. My bouquet probably cost around $5, and there was 20 people in the class. So um, it gets pretty pricey. Um, but it is definitely a fun hobby. Uh, you can bend these flowers any which direction you like. So that way, you know, they look more realistic or whatnot. But yeah, that's what I did yesterday. Totally free and totally awesome. Alright guys, but uh, that, I believe that's it for sure now. <laughs> um, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave it below. And I will get back to you on anything. And if you want to see a tutorial on anything, um, just request it. Uh, one more thing before I go. I have opened an Etsy shop. Um, I haven't put everything that I have listed on there for sale yet because it costs 20 cents per item. And I have a lot of people looking at my listings, but nobody is uh, buying them or has bought any. So I don't want to list everything I have because then I might not sell anything, but I'm going to owe a bunch of money. Um, so if you want to check out my Etsy shop, uh, let's see. Um, I have quite a few things on there, and I add new stuff every day. But this is my Etsy shop. It's called Ashley Nicole Arts, A-S-H-L-E-Y-N-I-C-O-L-E-A-R-T-S. And this is what I have on here so far. Not much. Um, I started out putting just this stuff down here on it, um, these here, and then this one, but um, I noticed my pictures were bland. They were boring. They weren't selling themselves, so I took my last three pieces outside by my creek, and I took pictures by the creek, and I uploaded them, um, and they look a lot better. So if you want to check that out, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, Everything that you need to know about each piece is listed. Um, all of my items, all the jewelry is lead and nickel free. So if you have any slight allergies, you'll be okay wearing my stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much my Etsy. I don't have too much on it. But I think these pictures turn out so much better. And I love the leaves in the background. It looks, okay, that, tell me that, that looks a lot better than this. I mean, this here is boring. It's like, oh, okay, cool. A pink flower. That's nice. And then you go here, and you're like, oh, well, that's pretty cool. I like the way the picture turned out. You know, the, the view, you know, the lighting. It's pretty nice. So it looks a lot better. So if you, know, if you have any suggestions on my Etsy after you see it, please let me know because this is the first Etsy I've made, and I'm still learning all the tricks and trades of um, design on this website. So if you have any questions... Um, about it, or if you have any suggestions for me, let me know. I would greatly appreciate it. Alright guys, thank you for watching, and like I said, I'm sorry it's so long. It was 15 minutes, now it's 20, but hey, who doesn't love crafts?